Hi, I'm Jennifer Flannery with the Lone Star Conference. I'm a junior from Moody, Texas, and I'm here representing Angelo State Cross Country. Thanks for joining us today, Jennifer. Um, as a junior, uh, you've been on campus for uh, for a couple years now, for several years, and um, let's talk about uh, maybe your decision to come to Angelo State and, and maybe some of the things that are unique about Angelo State. Um, what really made me decide to come to Angelo State was my high school coaches, you know, they explained to me, you know, like how great, you know, their track program and cross country program, so that helped me a little bit. Also with, the, you know, knowing that they had a good, you know, program for like kinesiology, which I'm majoring in, so that also really helped me come over here too. And what I think makes uh, Angelo State uh, unique is that it's not too big, but it's not too small. It's like the perfect medium, so it helps me learn better. I think it helps a lot of other people too, so. You mentioned the success of the programs uh, as far as track and field and cross country goes. Uh, women coming off a national championship. Um, coach Reed was named the national coach of the year, and, and Coach Dibburn was named the uh, assistant, uh, national assistant coach of the year. Now he's the, the head cross country coach. Um, what's it like to be a part of a program like that that's experienced so much success and, and has that kind of leadership? Um, actually, it's really great. You know, it's exciting, experience new things and stuff. And I came from a really small school, and you know, we're still they were still building on success and stuff. And it's great to come to a, like a bigger school and be able to experience all this new and fun, exciting stuff. And the coaches are great. You know, they all know what they're doing, so it makes me feel comfortable and being able to run here. Okay, um, you. Started the season last uh, last week at the the Baylor Bear Twilight in Waco, um, almost a homecoming for you. But um, <laughs> talk about running uh, in that meet and, and sort of getting the the season underway for cross country. Um, I felt like we did great. Um, definitely, I think uh, we're a lot better off than we um, had ended last year. Um, we're a lot stronger, and so I think uh, we're ready to take on this season. The Ram Bells were picked to finish second in the Lone Star Conference in the, during the cross-country season. Um, what's it going to take to, or I guess, what are the goals and, and what's it going to take to uh, accomplish those goals this season? Um, well, first of all, we just need to pick up our training and stuff. I mean, we are working hard now. Um, I mean, last year was kind of a downer. We lost uh, conference championships for cross-country by three points. So this year, since we're picked second, uh, we want that win. And, uh, but we also have, you know, some good freshmen that came in, um, like our top freshman runner, Kelsey. And then we also have a returner. She's a sophomore this year, Emmeline Crutcher. Um, they'll help us out a lot. Um, I mean, it takes five to score, but, um, if we all step up, I believe we can do it and, you know, win the conference championships. Also, I mean, and the guys too, you know, uh, I think they'll do great. They just need to step it up just a little bit. We're all working hard and stuff so I think we'll all uh, come out the season you know pretty accomplished so and now we're joined by Angelo State head cross country coach Tom Dibburn uh, coach Dibburn congratulations on uh, your new post as cross country coach and uh, you sort of have a unique perspective being a student athlete former student athlete here you were uh, a jumper on the track and field team um, and now you're a member of the staff as a coach um, can you just talk about what makes Angelo State special yeah um Angelo State's located in a, a great town, San Angelo, out here in West Texas. You know, we kind of have a small town feel with the big city um, advantages. And, you know, as far as the university goes, we've got a great support staff, great community following, and, uh, you know, we've, we've got all the opportunities to be successful. And I think that, that makes it unique. Well, the cross-country season is uh, in full swing now after the, uh, the first meet last week, the, the Bear Twilight Invitational at um, Baylor University in Waco. Um, talk about the start to the season and then uh, maybe some of your expectations for the year or hopes for the year. Well, the start to the season was really good. Um, you know, I think right now we're ahead of where we were last year. Even though we are a really young team, um, we're starting to see some kids step up as leaders. And, uh, you know, I think that kind of laid the foundation for a the direction we want to go for the rest of the season. All right. Um, what did, uh, I guess, the track and field and, and cross country programs have been fairly successful here at Angelo State. Um, 
What's it like to be part of that success and, and, and to be a contributor to, uh, say, the national championship for the women last year on track and field, um, and then um, looking for success in cross country as well? What's it like to be a part of that? Uh, it's it's incredible. Um, Coach Noble, David Noble, started the tradition back way back when. I don't even know how long ago, and you know he passed it on to Coach Reed. And now I'm fortunate enough to be a part of it. And Coach Gabriel's been here for 20 some odd years. Um, we just feel really fortunate to uh, be a part of the tradition. The men have had 26 top 10 finishes in track and field. And women are coming off a national championship. And, uh, you know, I, I just think we're really, really lucky to be in this position.